A three-star Marine general has been appointed to investigate the alleged incident of four Marine snipers desecrating the bodies of dead Taliban fighters in Afghanistan. A widely circulated video apparently shows them urinating on the bodies. The four have now been identified but have not been detained. No charges have been filed. So who are these Marines? Joining us is Tim Kudo, a former Marine captain who was stationed in Afghanistan. His unit was relieved by those allegedly in the video. And Tim Kudo is also a representative for Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America. Good morning to you, Captain Kudo. Thank you for joining us. So this battalion replaced yours. Yes, they did. How surprised were you to see this video then? I mean, I think every Marine was absolutely shocked by what happened. I mean, nobody would have expected something like this, not just from a unit, but I think from any Marine in general. This, these actions are completely outside the norm and basically a few individuals who went rogue and decided to take things into their own hands. Internally, uh, among the Marines and, and your, uh, your comrades, how do you see these individuals? I don't see them as Marines. I see them as people who have set back the war effort, who have put their fellow Marines in danger, and who stand in contradiction to pretty much everything that the Marine Corps stands for and what America stands for. So it's very hard to look at them and see them as Marines in that way. Do you think they have the power with these actions and these allegations to undo all the work and all the effort that you have put into the effort? I mean, I was in that area, and I feel like they did undo the effort that I put into that area and that the Marines who worked with me um, put into that area. And I think that while we can overcome it, it's going to take a long time and it's going to take a lot of effort. We've done it in the past. We did it in Iraq, but it's going to take a lot of, uh, a lot of thinking and a lot of hard work and a lot of casualties probably. You, you talk about living in that area and, um, and, and working and fighting in that area. What kind of stress do you believe they were living under day to day? I mean, the stress of combat anywhere is incredible. And I know they had daily IEDs, a daily small arms fire. Um, they're away from their families. Men are dying, men are getting injured, and it's very challenging, but that still doesn't excuse this. I mean, there's plenty of people who have gone through those kinds of environments and done the right thing every single day, and that's what makes this such an extreme case. What would you like to see happen in this case, ultimately? I think they should investigate it, and they should be court-martialed, and then let the justice system decide what they should do with them. And in the justice system, what are some of the options that could be done to these individuals? They could get a um, kicked out of the Marine Corps. They could go to the brig. Um, there's many options, and that's pretty much what the UCMJ will allow them to do. And you believe that feeling is, is shared by, by many individuals Absolutely. in your position? Absolutely. All right. Well, Captain Kudo, we sincerely appreciate you coming Thank in you. this morning. Thank you. Appreciate it. Jeff? Rebecca, thanks very much. We move now to the escalating tension.